Hi kids, very soon it's going to be Purim and Purim is a very fun time where we dress up and we give charity and we listen to the Megillah, the story of Purim and we eat yummy foods and we share foods with the people we love. Oh my goodness, so many things for Purim. I cannot wait to dress up. Let's see what this book is about. It is called Purim Chicken and it is by Marjorie Kaya, Kaila Koila, and the pictures are by Poi Pinilos. Can you see the picture? Purim is coming, crowed. Purim is coming, crowed Cockadoodledoo. Time to rehearse our Purim songs, mood moo. And make groggers, blah, blah, bleated bleat. And eat ham and tushin, bad, bad. And wear costumes, nay, nay. For our Purim play, quacked, quack. This is going to be a fun book to read, I can already tell. May I have a crack at playing Queen Esther, clucked, cluck. Quack ruffled her feathers. She had always played queen, the queen. I already know all the lines, she quacked. The other animals nodded. Maybe next year, they agreed. This just isn't my clucky day, cluck, cluck to herself. That afternoon, the animals drew up the cast. Quack, Queen Esther. Meow, Mordechai, Queen Esther's uncle. Nay, Achashverosh, the king of Persia. Bah, Vashti, the first wife of Achashverosh and the queen of Persia. cock a doodle do Haman, the evil prime minister. Honk, hoot, bleat, click, the audience. At least I have a part in the audience, clucked cluck. That's better than nothing. For several weeks, the animals rehearsed the story of Queen Esther and how she saved the Jews in Persia from the evil plans of Haman, the Prime Minister. The audience honk, hoot, bleat and cluck, honked, hooted, bleated and clucked whenever Haman's name was mentioned. But Cluck worried. What if her cluck wasn't loud enough to drown out Haman's name? She and the others had to create a lot of noise to remind everyone that he was wicked. I'll just make my cluck louder, she decided. Cluck worked at it every day. Cluck, cluck, cluck. And she worked at it some more. Cluck, 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 cluck. Finally, it was the day before Purim. Bleat made gruggers by filling tin cans with pebbles. The animals made costumes out of the sheets on Farmer Ezra's clothesline. They borrowed a tray of hamantashen from Farmer Ezra's kitchen. But that afternoon, something terrible happened. Quack disappeared. She has flown the coop, crowed cock a doodle -doo. How Utterly terrible, mood moo. This really gets my goat, bleated bleat. What bad luck, bad ba. Hold your horses, neighed nay. Let's send out a search party. I'll look down by the pond, clucked cluck. As cluck scratched around in the mud, she saw some footprints. The footprints of... A fox. <gasps> cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. The other animals heard her loud clucks and came running. When they saw the footprints leading from the pond to the fence and from the fence to the woods, they began to crow, moo, bleat, ba, nay, honk and hoot. That willy fox has stolen our star, crowed cock a doodle -doo. Holy cow, moo, moo. I'll be brave like Queen Esther. Cluck, cluck. I'll find that fox and save our friend. Off she flew, following the footprints across the field, through the woods, to Fox's den. Cluck hid behind a rock. She saw Quack tied to a tree. Fox is lighting a fire under a big pot nearby. Oh no, thought Cluck. Fox plans to cluck. To cook quack for dinner. I must try even harder to be brave like Queen Esther. Cluck 
took a deep breath, pushed herself off the ground and flew like the wind toward Fox. Clack, 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 she squawked into his ear. Go away, screeched Fox. Clack flew behind Fox. She pecked at his tail. Aroo! Ouch, howled Fox. Ouch! No more stealing from the barnyard, clucked Cluck. You'll or you'll be the one who's cooked for dinner. I'm out of here, he skedaddled cried Fox, towards the wood. You're a good egg, quack, 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 quack. You saved me just in time. Otherwise, I'd have been duck soup. When they got back to the barnyard, quack, 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 quacked out the story of Cluck's brave rescue. Hooray for Cluck! Crowed, mooed, bleated, bad, neighed, honked and hooted the animals. I have to duck out of the play tonight, quacked quack. I'm just too flustered to perform. What bad moos, moo mood, mood moo. Who can take your place? Who do you think is going to take her place? How about cluck? Quacked quack, she would make a ducky queen. A ducky queen and a brave queen. Crow crowed, mooed, bleated, bad, neighed, honked and hooted the animals. On with the show! So Cluck played Queen Esther after all. And the animals, especially Quack, agreed that she made an Excellent, Queen Esther, indeed. Cluck went and saved her friend Quack. Kind of like the real Queen Esther who saved the Jewish people. With Hashem's help. Enjoy your Purim, have lots of fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye.